happy February guys. We made it through January and this month we are really focused on getting things done at both houses. Starting with the Heights house, our turret was finally clad in stone and we love the way it turned out. It gives the house a bit more of that old European castle feel which we're all about. And our window trim was also installed. They made custom molds to fit the windows using this hardened foam type material. My favorite part is the arches that we added at the front and back of the house. I'm deciding on pink colors for the window trim now, but I'm going for a natural stone color. Landscape planning is also underway. We're finalizing the design now and we'll go to a nursery later this week to figure out the plants that we need. Then irrigation comes next, followed by sod and eventually we'll work on the hardscaping. We still need to have the concrete steps poured at the front entrance and we'll be adding sidewalks and a driveway in the back too. Meanwhile, inside the house, we got new floors! They're all covered up now and I was too excited to remember to take video during the install, but these floors are everything we wanted and we couldn't be happier. They're French oak engineered hardwood from Lowe's and I'll link them below. You can also go to today's blog post to see all the photos. Our interior window trim has been installed and our new doors and door trim and baseboards are next. The interior trim will be painted a light warm gray and I'm finalizing the color for that this week. We're also finishing up the install of our antique laundry room door which will be a pocket door. As of today, our kitchen cabinets are supposed to arrive, so we'll keep you updated on the progress as those come in. The floor tile for our master bathroom was delivered on Monday, and I'll do a whole blog post soon with all the details for that bathroom. I also ordered a bunch of light fixtures, including the living room chandelier, the master bedroom chandelier, the foyer light, and the exterior lantern. There's a ton of decisions being made right now, so we should start to see it all come together within the next month. And of course, we didn't forget about the Riverside Retreat. Winter in Florida is the perfect season for outdoor projects, so we decided to start tackling the backyard and the front porch. The plan for the backyard is to replace the concrete runway with pea gravel and make a fire pit area. And then remove all the old mismatched tile, clean up the concrete, and stencil it with paint and sealer. Last week, I took up the old tile, then I took down the concrete wall that didn't really serve any purpose, and then I attempted to break up the concrete pad, but didn't get too far before realizing I needed a jackhammer for this job. So that was temporarily put on hold, and we moved on to the front porch. The front porch had these old, outdated, rusty metal railings, so we decided to update them with wood. Last weekend, I removed the old railing, then installed new 4x4 posts reinforced with concrete. We added 2x4s to the two main columns and wrapped those with 1x's to make them more substantial. The next step is to build the railings, and we're aiming to have that finished by next weekend. And I also plan to do some sort of paint treatment over the tile here. Not exactly sure what I'll use yet. The goal is to keep these projects low cost and relatively simple, since we're DIYing on a deadline and we still have so much to do. Well, when you think about all of the projects that we have to do, it seems like a lot, but if you break them down individually, it's very doable, and I think that we can get them done faster than you think. It just feels like projects are being added to the list faster than we're crossing them off, and I've been through these big renovations before, so I know how many details there are at the end, and it can get pretty stressful. It can, but just take one project at a time, and before you know it, we'll be done. We'll never be done. <laughs> done with this house. <laughs> well, at least we're really close at finishing up a few big projects and then moving into the new building. In the meantime, make sure to check out my Instagram where I post daily updates. And of course, you can find all the details about today's video in the blog post linked below. Go Patriots! <laughs> Susie's a big fan, Casey.